hi welcome to java hangout channel in this uh, uh, video we will discuss about uh, uh, strix dashboard uh, which is used to microservices uh, monitoring like uh, microservice uh, uh, health and uh, status monitoring so before uh, discussing about uh, strix dashboard uh, we will see what is strix strix is related to microservices so we will start with microservices okay microservice is not a um, framework uh, or it is not a, a technology it is a architecture according to this microservice architecture uh, so very big monolithic complex application uh, will be decomposed into smaller services later communicate those services together to form a larger business application so here uh, microservice architecture is different and microservice is different what is microservice microservices are autonomous that means independent self contained it contains everything to make up that microservice okay and independently deployable it is not dependent on any other uh, uh, microservice it will be independently independent independently deployable that is the uh, core functionalities of microservice and uh, in monolithic application uh, we will see right uh, presentation layer uh, business uh, layer data access layer data layer there are total four layers like that only each microservice contains its own presentation layer business layer and dto layer okay later they communicate with each other layers wise also okay we will see uh, um, a monolithic approach as well as a microservice approach diagrammatically so this is the diagram if you see this one in presentation presentation layer is there presentation is the presentation layer is there and which contains three modules model a model b model c and business layer is there which contains three model again model a model b model c and a database so here all models are uh, uh, tightly coupled not loose coupled right in presentation layer and as well as business layer this is the um, um, a disadvantage of a monolithic application there are many uh, advantages uh, uh, of uh, uh, microservice over the monolithic application this is one so we will see um, microservice approach so same service we can develop like this like uh, this is one microservice microservice a microservice b microservice c each service contains a presentation layer business layer and a data database layer and uh, and uh, models wise so uh, like that we can split uh, that uh, um, uh, complete uh, complex application into small uh, microservices this is one example and another uh, advantage is uh, each microservice can uh, develop can be developed uh, by using uh, different technologies uh, for example microservice a is there we can develop uh, by using java microservice b is there we can develop uh, by using uh, scala uh, ruby nodejs uh, nodejs depend uh, depends upon the uh, business requirement so like that uh, microservice c as well so this is how difference between uh, monolithic approach and uh, microservice approach okay so next uh, in microservice architecture so in microservice architecture architecture multiple services can be uh, uh, can be there right so those uh, can be dependent dependent on each other right in that scenario what will happen if a microservice is down or not functioning properly that means if microservice is down or it is not functioning properly then we will get the exception that exception is propagated to upstream services and finally it uh, comes to the end user this is the problem right so if one microservice is down then complete system will be uh, broken down uh, will be broken down right so to address this kind of issues uh, netflix created one library called strix that implements the circuit breaker pattern circuit breaker pattern is a um in 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 microservice world this is a design pattern in generally this is a um, uh, the electrical component so which prevents the damage from uh, uh, overloading and short circuit 
right so same role um, uh, circuit breaker plays in the microservices architecture as well we will see so the basic idea behind the circuit breaker is very simple actual functionality is wrapped into into proxy proxy is a dummy actually a proxy object which contains uh, actual object so here proxy is nothing but uh, it sticks uh, circuit breaker so circuit breaker so this uh, proxy object contains uh, uh, will be having a complete uh, control over the actual uh, microservice so if any incoming request comes right proxy the circuit breaker will decide whether uh, actual service has to be invoked or else uh, some alternative only uh, default message or uh, fallback method has to be uh, invoked that will be decided by the circuit breaker based on the situation like uh, circuit breaker is having a uh, three um, states one is open state closed state and off open state closed state in the sense uh, that is normal if any exception occurs uh, then uh, uh, circuit breaker state will be changed to open in open state uh, it won't invoke the actual uh, microservice uh, instead of that uh, it will invoke a fallback uh, method okay where we can uh, implement uh, whatever uh, we want logic uh, we can uh, return the default values or else we can uh, invoke uh, another uh, microservice this is how this uh, circuit breaker pattern uh, works in the uh, microservice so there are uh, multiple uh, implementations of uh, circuit breaker pattern uh, one is uh, that is strix that's why strix circuit breaker we call it okay main advantages of strix circuit breaker is uh, or uh, so pre uh, prevents failures cascading that means uh, if service a is there service b is there service a is depending dependent on service b if service service b is down then exception will uh, propagate it to the service a, uh, service a from their end user right that uh, cascading will be prevented by using circuit breaker and it will prevent the failures cascading and uh, uh, provides uh, or gives uh, default behavior when a service a dependent service uh, is fail and uh, microservice continues operating uh, when a related uh, uh, service is fails so if service b is down and service a is depending on b obviously uh, generally service a also will down right uh, will return the exception so in circuit breaker uh, uh, scenario it doesn't break and it will return the default uh, output appropriate uh, alternative uh, alternative alternative uh, uh, alternative output to serve the request and uh, one more beauty is uh, it gives the time to failing service that is b service right uh, to recover so uh, certain time it will wait for one minute and it won't invoke uh, it won't it, it won't invoke uh, uh, service b uh, dependent service uh, uh, for a certain uh, period of time uh, that also we can configure that uh, after that it will try to eat uh, whether that is uh, working or not uh, properly if not uh, again uh, it will uh, uh, come back uh, uh, to the open state uh, if it is working successfully then it will uh, um, reset the state as a closed state so this is our circuit breaker pattern so in uh, very big enterprises uh, uh, there will be more and more services will be added right uh, because added so monitoring is very difficult in that uh, environment uh, environment uh, so you uh, so sticks come, uh, comes with uh, help by providing a user friendly dashboard that is a strix dashboard this is the strix dashboard so we can see uh, uh, these are the components will be there on strix ui so success is there uh, short circuit bad request timeout rejected failure and error percentage so same whatever we are seeing colors we can see here also uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 right this is green is their success uh, so blue is their short circuit light uh, green is there so that is bad request uh, so yellow is there timed out uh, and uh, pink is there rejected uh, red is their failure so if service is down uh, so how many times uh, it uh, uh, it is failed it will show here we can see on this uh, dashboard okay let's see in the practical 
so in this practical uh, i defined a total four microservices uh, one is loan microservice home loan microservice personal loan microservice vehicle loan microservice uh, in this session uh, i will uh, use only loan service and home loan service so here uh, loan service dependent on home loan service because home loan service is having a complete business logic it will pro it will provide the business logic to loan service okay so i already created if you want to know how to create the microservice project i already made one video and uploaded you can you can go through that one okay so we will go through first home loan microservice here home loan microservice so whenever we create uh, this one it will be automatically generated uh, by the uh, um, uh, that uh, initializer tool this is the uh, starting point uh, for uh, any microservice okay so microservice the class which is annotated with spring boot application will act as a bootstrap class for that particular microservice so here spring application dot run whenever this line executes so spring container will be created and all the properties will be loaded later we can use those properties across the application application this is the one so we will discuss uh, this one enables uh, circuit breaker enable uh, streaks and uh, enable uh, uh, dashboard later okay here controller okay this is the home loan uh, home loan microservice and i defined uh, uh, one controller uh, which contains the uh, two endpoints uh, one is a uh, uh, get endpoint another one is a uh, post endpoint uh, this get endpoints return uh, just uh, rate of interest of uh, home loan and uh, this eligibility uh, endpoint will return the uh, loan eligibility based on uh, age and salary this is the logic so this is the age and salary and uh, generally home loans will provide uh, till uh, 60 years right uh, 60 years so if uh, entered age is uh, 45 then tenure will be uh, 15 years like that uh, maximum 20 years this is the logic it will return so this is the uh, request body that's why it contains uh, uh, name age and salary okay so this is the response uh, 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 response payload we can say so it which contains the name loan type eligibility tenure rate of interest and message if anything is there message we can set the message so this is how we can develop uh, uh, develop a home loan microservice now we will go to uh, loan microservice this is the um, so bootstrap class for this uh, loan microservice this is the controller so here two micro two endpoints are there one is uh, roi rate of interest and eligibility and uh, service class go to the service class so in uh, uh, in this uh, in that uh, get uh, get uh, get endpoint uh, we are invoking the get endpoint of uh, home loan service uh, that is uh, service b right and uh, another one is uh, uh, another one is in post endpoint we are invoking uh, post endpoint post endpoint that is eligibility endpoint of uh, home loan microservice so here home loan microservice is running on uh, 9092 and uh, this loan microservice uh, uh, is running uh, on uh, uh, 9090 okay we can see that one uh, here 9090 okay done now how to enable the uh, strix and uh, uh, strix uh, circuit breaker okay this is the controller this is the base class right so we have to use uh, use uh, to enable the circuit breaker there are two different uh, um, there are two different annotations one is enable circuit breaker and uh, strix uh, uh, enable strix this is a general general uh, 
um, um, uh, annotation uh, which will uh, enable the circuit breaker implementation. So there are uh, an n number of uh, implementations. One is uh, Finalog, another one is uh, uh, Java Slang uh, circuit breaker. Like in this demo, we are using Strix. Uh, that's why it is enough. It no need to use this one. Instead of that, uh, we can use uh, which is uh, specific to Strix implementation. And to enable to use the Strix dashboard, we need to use uh, enable uh, Strix dashboard. A six dashboard uh, uh, related uh, palm dot uh, related dependencies also must uh, also uh, uh, added uh, in the palm dot xml so this is the palm dot xml to define the uh, rest uh, microservice we need uh, spring hyphen boot hyphen starter hyphen uh, web and uh, to use the strix uh, circuit breaker uh, implementation we need to add uh, spring hyphen cloud hyphen starter hyphen netflix hyphen strix to use the dash strix dashboard we need one more dependency that is a spring hyphen cloud hyphen starter hyphen netflix hyphen strix dashboard once we added these uh, uh, dependencies, uh, then uh, we can uh, utilize uh, we can utilize uh, these uh, uh, two two annotations. Uh, one is uh, enable uh, strix and another one is enable uh, strix dashboard. Okay, then this is the controller and this is the service class. So in controller, uh, if you see. Um, so I defined one bean uh, which will return the rest uh, uh, rest template to consume the other restful web service. So I auto void auto void. Uh, then uh, this is the service class. So here uh, Istrix dashboard will provide the actual implementation of uh, uh, command uh, circuit breaker uh, breaker implementation implementation. Okay. So we need to. Uh, add this annotation uh, over the method and uh, while defining uh, it will ask uh, uh, fallback uh, method name this is the fallback method and uh, command properties we can uh, add uh, n number of uh, properties uh, according to our requirement here uh, generally by default uh, it will wait uh, uh, like uh, uh, two seconds uh, to get the response for response of uh, response of uh, uh, this eligibility service uh, within two minutes if you don't get uh, then uh, it will call uh, uh, eligible uh, eligible uh, fallback uh, method eligible fallback method method so uh, depends upon our scenario and network bandwidth uh, we can mention this uh, uh, timeout uh, uh, time at value in the milliseconds okay milliseconds that, that's how it works that's how it works okay so now i'm not using uh, uh, strix uh, uh, strix command in the get endpoint so to show the difference between both so here if the service is not available then it must call it must provide the output from this callback method eligible fallback method so this uh, fallback method should be uh, uh, same signature as a uh, actual uh, uh, method that is a uh, home loan eligible response get uh, uh, loan eligibility name can be anything anything but uh, parameters and return type must be same okay so here uh, if this service is not available uh, then uh, it must call uh, this method callback method and provide this uh, um, in uh, response okay uh, in this scenario get endpoint if this get endpoint is not uh, not uh, uh, available if it is down then uh, it will return the error instead of uh, default values okay we will see this is how we can uh, define the uh, microservices and uh, we can enable uh, the strix strix and uh, strix dashboard now we will uh, start the services if you see here uh, home loan microservice down and uh, loan services we will start uh, both uh, first we will start uh, start together okay uh, we can select all the services uh, services or whatever we want i selected uh, home loan microservice and uh, loan service just start start this one So home loan microservice uh, is uh, started on uh, so 9092 port and uh, loan microservice uh, is started on uh, port number 9090. This is uh, dependent on uh, home loan microservice uh, which uh, my, uh, home loan microservice is exposing uh, two endpoints. Uh, one is uh, get endpoint, another one is post endpoint. So both are... Uh, um, 
invoked are invoked from loan microservice right that means this microservice is dependent on home loan microservice okay now both are up and running we will see so this is a postman so this is 9092 means it is home service directly i am invoking so it is returning a rate of interest as uh, 7.5 this is a, a get uh, endpoint that's why i selected here method is a get and one more is the right post endpoint that is eligibility uh, based on this age and salary it will provide the uh, loan eligibility okay see now home loan uh, like name is srikant loan type is home and eligibility is uh, uh, 80 80 lakhs uh, 8 lakhs uh, tenure is uh, uh, 10 years because you are 50 uh, 60 minus 50 10 years 10 years tenure and rate of interest is 7.5 so both are working successfully right so now uh, i will uh, invoke uh, from here also so it is working fine because uh, both are up and running right 9090 and 9092 so that's why this is the get uh, endpoint uh, it is working fine uh, we will see post endpoint as well post endpoint also working fine so first uh, i tested uh, uh, directly hitting uh, uh, home, home microservice and later uh, i invoked uh, from the loan microservice which is running on 9090 now i will uh, uh, shut down uh, home loan microservice home loan microservice so loan microservice is depending on uh, uh, home loan microservice right now if we make uh, down this one like shut down this one then uh, these uh, two endpoints uh, uh, won't work right we will see by directly hitting so uh, this is a uh, 9092 see could not get any response because uh, there was an error connecting to so and so endpoint that means uh, this uh, home loan uh, microservices is down currently right uh, because uh, uh, you can see this status is down now only loan microservice is there so now we will invoke uh, uh, get uh, uh, endpoint which will internally which will invoke home loan um, get endpoint. See, we are seeing error, internal server error that is 500 so and so uh, timestamp and error is this one and path is uh, slash uh, ROI rate of interest because uh, because uh, we are not uh, using uh, command uh, uh, we are not using circuit breaker uh, for this endpoint right I commented that's why whatever we are getting the error from this endpoint uh, same thing we are seeing on uh, postman now uh, one more endpoint is there that is uh, get endpoint uh, get uh, loan eligibility here I used uh, uh, strix command right and fallback method also defined uh, eligible fallback method so in this scenario the service is down right this microservice is down that means uh, this endpoint doesn't work so in this scenario it should not return uh, the error like uh, saying that internal service error it should return the this uh, default uh, default response default response whatever uh, we implement i implemented here so you will see this one so first one is uh, uh, get uh, endpoint uh, so in for get endpoint uh, i didn't uh, uh, enabled uh, circuit breaker uh, circuit breaker so we are seeing directly error whatever we are getting from the home loan home loan service be, uh, home loan home loan microservice and uh, this is the second endpoint uh, which is post endpoint that's why i selected post so here i implemented a circuit breaker uh, 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 circuit breaker right uh, circuit uh, circuit breaker uh, design pattern so here uh, we should not uh, see this message we should see default message we will see see we are getting so here uh, default rate of interest uh, 9.7 when we, when we saw that time it was 7.5 if uh, it comes from the home home loan mic says this is the default one default one name is power one type is uh, uh, home and eligibility is this one uh, 
so uh, tenure is 20 because default by default 20 20 years this is how uh, works this uh, circuit uh, uh, breaker uh, uh, breaker in the microservices so it's six circuit uh, circuit breaker okay now we will see the circuit breaker dashboard so circuit uh, breaker dashboard is uh, uh, running on uh, port number uh, 9090 because uh, this home loan service is there right so we enabled for this home loan service this service is uh, running on port number uh, 9090 and we have to add uh, this uh, this uh, property in the pro uh, application dot properties uh, management dot endpoints dot web dot expose dot include is equal to strict dot uh, uh, stream or else we can uh, put star also okay then only we can uh, see the um, uh, is 6 dashboard uh, we'll go to the browser this is the browser so it is running running right 9090 is 6 uh. otherwise uh, we will come from starting It this one it will come in the dashboard so if you see here HTTP is 6 hyphen uh, app colon port uh, actuator uh, is 6 dot stream so we have to use this one here uh, is 6 app single is 6 app we can go through you can understand we have to change the host name and port number here what is the host local Post colon 9090 and title we can give a loan microservice micro service it this on a monitor stream yeah, it came right so we'll see it this one Okay. Uh, now I will uh, hit this one. So this uh, post endpoint we are using a uh, circuit breaker, right? Is six circuit breaker. So uh, here uh, home loan service is down. Uh, that's why we should see the uh, failures. You get uh, loan uh, eligibility. So here uh, hundred percent failure. Hundred percent failure. How many times we hit? Five times. Okay. So it will uh, show here only according to that. Now again, uh, if you hit this one. see two three huh? again it will go down to zero red means failure 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 okay now we will see um, by making uh, up this uh, home loan uh, uh, microservice okay i am making up so, so we saw that time uh, here uh, red color failure now we should see success that is a green color right so here default rate of interest was there now we should not get that one because home loan microservice is up and running right so rate of interest is 7.5 by default this is a uh, 20 and uh, tenure was uh, 20 was their default it is based on uh, uh, this one uh, years and salary provided as a input see this one green symbol eight times we uh, called uh, this uh, get loan eligibility that's why it is showing eight so this is closed circuit is closed closed in the sense happy path this is how uh, uh, it works uh, is six uh, and uh, is six dashboard in the microservices thanks for watching this video please subscribe my video if you are not yet subscribed thank you